Okay, we're coming up to a vault toilet up here on the side of the mountain, which is surprising, but probably good for a lot of people. If you make it this far and need to pee, or you walk the poop out of yourself. It's like slowly coming out. Ah! This is your last chance. Hold your breath. So, there you can see the valley. That's Provo, Utah down there. And here, urinal, a couple of toilets, and it does stink. Ziggy's going on out. Let me get out of the sun. Hey, there's lots of rock fall here, so keep going. You can see a little arch where the trail goes through. The trail switchbacks. Coming up, we've passed lots of people hiking up. It's a pretty strenuous hike. We're pretty conditioned. You can see the road into the park there. Gives you an idea how high we are. And these yellow and red lines basically mean no stopping because of high rockfall. So this is a rockfall area. You're not supposed to stop in the area with the red and yellow lines. Here we got an overhang, so rocks would just go over. But we're almost to the cave entrance. We've been hiking for 40, 44 minutes. So about half the allotted time, they say it's going to take, they say it takes an hour and a half to reach the cave entrance. And we did it in 45 minutes. I've got this nice little rest area. One last look over the edge. See the trail switchbacks there. Up. Yeah, well, that's to carry you down if you're hurt. They can slide you down the trail. Welcome to Timpanogos Cave. Elevation 6730. Right. Stand right there by, by that side. I got it. That's why my backpack's all big and puffy. 